to my channel today I filmed this Kylie Jenner inspired makeup look um, she recently uploaded a picture on Instagram and I don't know it just kind of like grabbed my attention even though it wasn't like very um, bold like my usual looks I felt like that's different and that's really really pretty so I wanted to recreate it and I think I did a pretty good job so um, if you want to see how I recreated this look of Kylie Jenner's and just keep All right, on so watching. today we're gonna be doing a look that's inspired by Kylie she recently posted this picture on her Instagram this one right here and she basically has this bright inner highlight on the corner of her eyes and then somebody else also posted a picture and I'll link their Instagram names or I'll put them down below so you guys can go and check them out if you want to and then um, I saw this one as well so I'm gonna be doing kind of um, something inspired by these three photos right here I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids I'm gonna be going in with my LA girl pro concealer in porcelain so it looks like they're using really, really neutral browns. Now Kylie is obviously, it's a much more light wash of color just because she's not into like, you know, the level of makeup that I am. Um, but then you can see here, Gabby, Gabby Riel, I don't really know what her name is. She kind of like went more ham in the crease. So I'm trying to decide what exactly I want to do. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep it pretty light and neutral. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this shade in the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette, and I'm gonna take it on a Morphe E27 brush. So I'm gonna go a little bit deeper, um, not too much, cause like I said, I wanna keep it pretty light. Um, so I'm just gonna go into the shade right next to the last shade that we went into, and I'm using the same E27 brush. I'm gonna go a lot heavier in the outer crease than I am in the inner crease. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a warmer shade. I'm gonna dip into the shade right here in the palette. And I'm just gonna go into the crease and put this literally right in the crease. Taking a clean blending brush, I'm just gonna go along these edges just to kind of fluff everything out and make it all really seamless. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of leave it at that as far as the crease goes. I think I am, because in the picture, it kind of looks like Kylie has a little bit of a lighter shade actually on her lid. So I'm thinking that I wanna go in with a bit of a lighter shade right on the lid and just kind of like fade it or blend it into the crease. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go into the Cara Beauty ES2 palette. And I'm gonna go into the shade right here. It's like a, a nice light neutral shade. I'm gonna take this on this wet and wild eyeshadow brush. I'm not gonna like try to do like any cut crease or anything like that. I'm just going to lightly pack it on the lid. Okay, so I'm gonna try to go in with the yellow um, in the inner corner. I'm hoping that my yellow is pigmented enough to come out looking like that, but we're gonna figure it out either way. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is go in with a glitter primer just to lay down a base and then go in with this yellow shadow just because for one, this isn't as bright as I would want it to be for this look. And secondly, just to give it a bit more of a punch to it because I don't think that that's going to turn out looking nearly as good or as vibrant as hers. I'm just gonna take this on the back of my hand and go in with a small little um, concealer brush like that. I'm just gonna start by placing it in the inner corner and into the inner corner of my lid as she has it. And then underneath the inner corner. And then I'm gonna go straight into this palette and I'm gonna dip into that yellow and go ahead and pack that in this area. Mm, it's 
it's not really on the level I want it to be on. This is more of like a muted down yellow. Anywho, we're just gonna go ahead and move on to the next eye and we'll see what we can do to kind of like zhuzh it up in a little bit. So I'm gonna move on to my base really quickly and I'm not going to film this part just because I have plenty of videos showing my whole routine for my base and it hasn't really changed. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my base and I'll be right back. All right, so while I have my concealer unset, I am gonna go in, I think, with that yellow shade again, just to see if we can build it up against this concealer um, on the lower lash line, just like Kylie has hers. So I'm gonna go back into the Cara Beauty palette, back into that yellow. And I'm just going to basically blend this into the lower lash line. Cause hers kind of goes like from the upper inner corner of her lid to her lower lash line. I think that helped quite a bit, but to go in and kind of sharpen things up, I am just going to take that same sponge that I blended my concealer out on and just kind of sharpen up those edges. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up with my base and I'll be right back. All right, so we are switching angles for the rest of this video just because the sun is coming through my lines and it's like putting those lines on my face and making it really difficult to film. So I do have a ring light coming soon. Hopefully it's here like within this next week so I can start filming with that instead of the light during this time of day. Anywho, we're just gonna go ahead and move forward. So anything that I used on my face will be down below in the description box as always. And I'm just gonna go in um, and just kind of like work on this inner corner. Um, it's kind of growing on me now. Like I feel like I'm starting to get like basically what I envisioned. So I'm gonna try going back into the yellow shade in the palette and basically just like build up that inner corner if I can. I'm gonna take a flat eyeshadow brush, go into that yellow and see if we can get any more pigment. So that's looking good so far, but I want a little bit more of a pop to it. So now, now we're gonna go into the Island Paradise palette by Cara Beauty. And I'm just gonna go into this bright yellow shade right here, or like gold shade right there. And I'm gonna take this on a smaller brush because I'm gonna be more precise with this shade. So I'm just gonna go in with the E36 by Morphe, um, dip into the shade. And I'm gonna pop this closer in the inner corner. I'm not gonna take this all out or anything like that. And just see what we can get. I'm just kind of blending it into this yellow. But again, I'm not going or taking it nearly like as far out as the matte yellow shade is. Now we're gonna try to go in and do this winged liner. For liner, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Stila Stay All Day um, liquid eyeliner. And we're just gonna go for it because her wing is like hella dramatic. And y'all know I don't do wings on the regular. Okay, so I think I mastered pretty much the general idea of her wing. And I think it actually came out pretty freaking good if you ask me for somebody who never really does liner. This wing took me a little bit longer than expected. It was a bit of a struggle, but we're here, we made it. I just put on some mascara and this is my um, Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara in black. So now we're gonna go ahead and pop on some lashes. It looks like Kylie isn't even wearing lashes. Uh oh. But if you know me, you know I can't go without my lashes, so we're definitely gonna be putting some on. I really feel like this look is coming together and starting to look like Kylie. Oh, while we're waiting on our lashes to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and go in on the lower lash line. So we're just gonna go into, let's go into this shade right here and go ahead and pop that on the lower lash line. And this is the shade, I mean, this is the E17 Morphe brush. And I'm not gonna bring this in the inner corner just so that we don't cover up that yellow. 
need to put a little bit of mascara on my lower lash line. One thing I felt that really tied the look together and kind of gave this a more Kylie effect was definitely the lip choice. So I just went in with L'Oreal's um, Less Chocolate in the shade Dose of Cocoa. And I think that really um, was a pretty close uh, shade match to what she has going on in her lips. All right, guys, this is the completed look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that I kind of grabbed a different audience because I know that I'm always doing like these crazy bold looks and that's not everybody's style of makeup. So I hope that this was able to be more wearable for some of you guys. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave and hit that bell. That way you get notified each time I upload and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.